So here we have Moog's Mother 32. Massive, massively hot right now world over and for very good reason. Moog's first entry into the Eurorack space and what's even more exciting is that it works as a standalone desktop module and a very cool desktop module at that. You can even uh, cascade multiple of them and uh, use them together. In this particular video, all we wanted to show you was the awesome step sequencer that's built in. There's a lot of fun to be had with this step sequencer alone, and uh, we just wanted to show you how it works. So as you can see, we're not using any of the patch base. We're not really trying to do any fancy sound design with this particular video. It's got a super basic uh, sound going on, but the focus here is just to show you all the stuff that you can do with the step sequencer. So let's jump right in. So as you can see here, this um, uh, this grid looks like what a keyboard would look and it plays like one too. So you can just play your notes, change the octave, and down. So this red LED shows you which octave you're in. Right? So it's easy to kind of just use it to uh, use it as a keyboard and just play your sounds, a single octave keyboard. Now uh, you can have up to eight patterns using pattern and then using these arrow buttons, you can kind of navigate up to eight patterns. And by hitting shift and bank, you can have up to eight banks. So you can have eight banks and um, eight patterns. So there's a lot of patterns that you can store on here for all your live performances and stuff like that. So um, let's run this and see what it sounds like. So it's got a super basic, uh, the default pattern basically, completely unexciting. So uh, the way you put this into record mode is by hitting shift and record. Now you can just play in the notes and it'll record that in. So let's just do that now. All right, so I've got something recorded in. Let me turn up the step. So as you can see here, it's going from step one to step eight. It's playing back the sequence that we just recorded in. Um, we can use the keyboard to transpose the entire sequence. Yeah, that sounds cool. Let's keep it at that. So we can do very quick transposition straight from here. Very cool. The other thing that you can do is put this entire thing into step edit mode. You do that by activating uh, shift plus step and then you run the sequence. Now you can see here, let's just add a little bit of sound to this. There you go, a little more exciting. So now I can activate certain steps on and off. Cool, right? So very, very simple stuff that you can do straight away. The other thing that you can do is you can get into step edit mode and do per step uh, editing. So let's activate, let's select the first one. And let's say you wanted an accent for it. You can add an accent to just that note now. There you go, you can hear the accent there. I can select the last note now. I can maybe change the gate length. So you see the red LEDs here indicate the gate length. Let me keep that at full. Let me select this one. Let me keep that also at full. Let me select these now and see, reduce the gate notes for the others. So, and let's say fifth one, see what's happening there. Sixth one, what's happening there. So I'm just adjusting the gate length for all. You're not hearing the difference because sustain is off. Now, once I put this on, you're able to hear the difference. I can still go back and reduce the gate lens even more. Yeah, as you can see, we get carried away with the sound pretty quickly because it sounds so damn good. All right, so what else can you do when you're in step edit mode? So as you can see, you can adjust the gate lens. The other things that you can do when you're in step edit mode is you can add per step ratcheting. What that, uh, what that means is that you can basically, it divides the step into smaller subdivisions to create a pseudo stutter effect. This is what it sounds like. So let's say we have this um, fifth step selected. I hold down shift and I increase the glide knob. There you go. 
As you can see here, so the number of LEDs indicate how many steps it's broken it down into, further subdivided into. Pretty cool, right? Right, so you've got the uh, step edit mode, I can get out of that and I can use this to adjust my tempo of the overall sequence. Alright, so let's say we want there. Um, the other things that you can do per step are of course you can add accents like we did to the first step we can add accents to each of the steps we can adjust gate lengths and we can adjust rashets the other thing that you can do is you can do all of this stuff in real time so by holding shift I can now add rashes to the entire sequence like this The other cool thing is, while I hold down shift, I can even uh, create accents on the fly, like this. So this particular button, while I hold down shift, creates like a rest. The cool thing is it stays in sync all throughout. So there are some really nice um, real-time um, functions that you can kind of do to add some real real-time effects which is great for great for performing live. So yeah, way too much fun. So that's a quick look at the uh, Moog Mother 32 step sequencer. As you can tell, there are a lot of really, really cool uh, cool functions hidden in here for you to explore. Some of the other things that you can also do is you can have, I mean, your patterns don't really need to be just eight steps. They can be up to 32 steps. And you can see here, uh, one to eight, nine to 16. You can use this to kind of navigate your sequence if it is longer. So you can create much longer sequences and have per step glide, per step, uh, accents and per step ratcheting to create some really complex and incredibly incredibly fun sounding um, sequences that you can add and when you factor in the fact that it takes MIDI in so you can send clock in here from either your DAW or any other drum machine or hardware sequencer and have this follow along and then go completely nuts with the sequencer. So that was a quick look at the Mother 32 sequencer. Hopefully uh, this inspired you to get out there and play with it a little more. We've been having an absolute blast with it here in the studio. And um, we can't wait to, you know, to, to chain multiple um, Mother 32s and start having a lot of fun. So here's the cool thing when you have multiple Mother 32s. The sequencer gets sent out, um, all the sequencer notes get sent out by the keyboard and gate. So imagine you create a cool sequence and you can take the sequence notes out and send it to other Mother 32s and have that triggered as well. And maybe have that at a different octave or different sound design possibilities with triggering envelopes and so on and so forth. The sound design possibilities are just endless endless really and the step sequencer really unlocks a lot of the potential and what this whole semi-modular system can do so definitely spend some time checking it out and explore all of the various things it can do it's an absolute blast thanks for watching